Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 9 of Out of Noah Zero Season 2. And holy crap, this episode was literally insane. I loved every little bit of it. It was just like, oh man, I just like, woo, really good episode, guys. So pretty much like the beginning is, you know, they're trying to formulate a plan um, Inaho and everyone there trying to formulate a plan to beat all the three Mars cataphracts because you know they the HQ as last episode the HQ is commanding them in a huge force to attack full on straight on to the enemy even though it seems like what the heck you know there's three of them how could they do it they could barely beat one by themselves at a time but they're doing it, they have to, HQ's commanded it, so they're pretty much just thinking, you know, what do we do? What, what, you know, sort of plan do we have, pretty much? And during this time, we also see Lemarina, of course, you know, in the last episode, she found out, she went to um, Princess of Salem's tank and noticed that no one was in there. So she pretty much calls Slain and tries, you know, to talk about everything, and it turns out, Slain just slides straight up to her face and she knows like right after the hang she hangs up he hangs up she's like you liar and it's just like oh gosh what's gonna happen there you know but after that this is the crazy part this is the big part the music starts playing you know dude I'm getting all pumped up I'm like oh yeah <laughs> but yeah the whole battle is starting they have to beat you know three enemy Mars cataphracts one can go invisible one can shoot like use lightning kind of things and use the lightning to defend himself and another one that's pretty much just multiplying and that's like really just at first i was thinking maybe they're just like holograms and um they won't do any damage but yeah they're all real they're all doing damage um what happens is actually the invisible one and the lightning one combine to make so when they use the smoke screen thing they just use like the lightning guy uses his like lightning and just poof, just there goes all the smoke and they can't find them and of course that lightning guy just destroyed everyone and it isn't to a certain point where they know where he is and they get a shot off at the um the invisible one and there goes the invisible one's leg it's kind of damaged so it can't hold both of the cataphract so they disengage from each other Inaho knows this is gonna happen the like he goes for the lightning when he's fucking coming from the sky you know coming down from the sky mustang zero zero fucking awesome <laughs> starts um shooting at him and of course normally bullets wouldn't hit but it's using like a certain type of bullets that it's the same kind of thing as the lightning as him so it's pretty much the way his lightning thing works is so you know he has this certain thing that so he won't get hit too as well because if it was some other type of way he would also get hit by the lightning and that's what Inho's knew he put the bullets and put made his um, cataphract able to resist the lightning and just takes the guy out who's awesome um, the invisible one does end up shooting his arm off at, but when that happens they all th shoot the smoke screen and just like <laughs> destroy the invisible cataphract and it was just like uh-uh can't beat Inaho, dude. You cannot beat Inaho. But while this is going on, um, a little part like in between the battle is pretty much we see. Didn't expect this to happen, but um, Princess of Salem decides she's gonna go to Slain and confront him. Pretty much, right when she goes out the door, who's there? But Princess Lemarina, and you know, in disguise in her a Salem disguise, and she's pretty much mad at the um you know princess of salem for always being in her way always you know stopping everything she gets everything you know she doesn't and she pulls a gun out at you know um princess of salem and i'm like no ways is she really gonna shoot her just no ways it's not gonna happen right and it cuts off there too and i was like dang it but we go back to the battle there's still one guy left the guy who multiplies and it turns out that the thing is what their plan was for the, um, you know, the multiplying one was to get the original. Get the original, they all get the, they're all gone. That's not how it works. It turns out that every single one is real. It's multiplying, and all of them are real. So the only way to take them out is to 
literally take every single one out. I don't really know how that even works, that every single one is real. He's duplicating himself. It just, I don't know, it doesn't make sense, but hey. And what they do is they're pretty much, um, you know, Holt uses like their, their plane above and I guess they target every single one and he takes command of all of the unit's guns and at the same time, they each shoot and they shoot each, you know, one for each of the things, pretty much taking them all, all at the same time. And it was just insane. I was literally just like, holy crap, Inaho is a boss, pretty much. And then it does, that's the end of the huge battle. They end up winning, of course. But what is literally crazy and I didn't expect is that pretty much um, the marina and is, you know, waiting for Slain, she tells Slain she knows about Princess of Salem and all that kind of stuff and he pretty much literally confesses that what he what he is doing, you know, he's planning on he knows that Princess of Salem would never agree to what he's doing, but he's gonna he's planning on literally exterminating everyone on earth because a war is he's what he says is a war is literally you know, um, it started by two different people kind of thing. If you completely take out one, there's no one to fight then, you know, end of a war, that's peace. And I'm thinking to myself, no, that's not. Even if you were to be, take out completely your whole enemy, there's always war. It's just human nature. That's how it it is. Like, it'll be in fighting in between your own empire. That's just how humans are, to be honest. It's bad, but that's how human nature is. But um, throughout this whole thing, he's talking. He's c pretty much just confesses to everything he's done. And... Turns out that was Princess of Salem. She also has the ability to change herself, and she changes from Lemarina back to herself. And that was a Salem the whole time. Lemarina comes in, saying that she told a Princess of Salem everything, and a Salem Princess of Salem takes a gun out, say, tells him to you know um, stand down and stop all of this, but he doesn't. He pulls the gun away. Of course, Princess of Salem. She can't shoot him, obviously. She's too good of a person for that. But in the end, um, he ends up putting them. He's pretty much arresting them and putting them in house arrest in these certain area, in the cert, you know, certain area where no one will be able to see them, and pretty much making it now that uh, he he doesn't even care. Like if they end up, you know, they'll change their mind. He's going to do this. He's going to do this. And I'm just thinking, Slain, you son of a... I'm sorry for anyone who's, who likes Slain, but d you cannot like Slain after this. It's shown he doesn't even give a crap. He's going to do all this. And the way he's like, oh, peace for peace, you know, he's going to complete, he's going to get peace. But dictators have been saying that for, like, since the beginning of time. Not time. Beginning of human race. There's dictators been rising up. And they come out good, like they're doing this for the greater good but it's not you know they come out seeming like they could be good but they're not and that's exactly what slain is he's a dictator and now he's not even he's even putting you know even though lemarina and asylum don't asylum doesn't like this he's doing it for her pretty much and he's still he doesn't care he's putting her under house arrest he's still gonna go on with this and i'm just like slain 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 but also it turns out the um, the Dooley carry on is pretty much be, uh, HQ contacts them and saying that now that they're refitted and everything's good, they're going on a huge offensive. They're not saying what yet, but it's going to be a huge assault. So the next episode, m actually, I don't know, maybe not the next episode because it's, I'm thinking like in the coming ending of the season kind of episode, it's going to be this huge war, huge battle that they're going to be attacking them. And also at the very end, we also get, uh, a visit from it seems that slain like a incoming spacecraft from Mars is coming and this new guy like I don't even know who he is I forget what his name is to be honest sorry but this new guy is just completely like I don't know who he is but he's coming from Mars and he's there to meet you know slain Doc said Dr. Troyad's son so I'm wondering who the heck is this guy he literally came out of nowhere you know who is this guy? Does he know Slain person? Well, also he doesn't know Slain personally. Maybe he knew his dad, or something's gonna happen. But I don't know how Slain's gonna keep that secret with Princess of Salem. Because the whole point was he's using Princess Lemarina as an act for acting as a Salem to do all of this stuff. What is he gonna do now? You know, 
but yep um that's pretty much all i gotta say about this episode i seriously cannot wait for the next coming episodes i know this this video is a lot longer than i usually make my review videos but seriously this like i want to talk about every single thing in this episode because every single thing in this episode was literally just crazy the huge battle the you know slaying deceit the possibility of lemurina almost shooting princess of salem and then you know him locking up a salem and uh, lemurina because of the threat that you know he can't have them going off telling people and stuff like that and just oh my gosh i can't wait for the next episode guys i seriously cannot wait for the next episode seriously so far this whole season has been insane i've loved every episode so far and huh, can't wait for the next <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this anime kingdom discussion and review if there's anything um, you guys want to ask any questions comment below if there's anything I missed you want to talk about comment below as well and, Or if you just want to talk about something in this episode or something like you're excited for the next episode comment below as well Because seriously, I would love to talk to someone about you know what they're excited for in the next episode So I hope you guys enjoyed this anime kingdom discussion review till next time guys. See ya